corporation versus foundation versus DAO, right? I think these are the three primary vehicles uh, that uh, you know projects in Bitcoin Cash have uh, to choose from. Uh, you know, in order to give some kind of uh, formality to, you know, new entities. Um, of course, you know, you can also opt to not create any entity, right? But if we're trying to go beyond, um, you know, hobbyist uh, projects, if we're trying to create profitable products, uh, you know, if we're trying to build, um, you know, an ecosystem, a business ecosystem for Bitcoin Cash, right? That can be kind of a, a steady guiding hand, um, you know, and that can uh, be a major engine for growth for Bitcoin Cash. Then, you know, new projects, uh, projects are going to need to take some kind of, of structure, right? So I think a uh, corporation is a pretty tried and true uh, format, um, you know, of course, uh, you know, you, it has the upside that it can generate, uh, you know, distribution of profits to shareholders, but, you know, it also has the, uh, you know, inexorable uh, demand that a profit be produced. Um, you know, this is, this is the old standby. Uh, you know, there are many different places you can, uh, you can create such an entity. You know, Delaware, Wyoming, Panama, Malta, uh, you know, the Seychelles, um, you know, uh, foundation, I think, um, you know, re removes that, uh, that need to produce a profit. Um, you know, it may be more suitable for projects that are trying to build the foundation, you know, the, the substructure for others to build on and to profit from, uh, you know, that are trying to build things that are kind of a general service, you know, and of course, services provided by a foundation can uh, produce a profit. It's just that there's no distribution of profits to shareholders and there's no shareholders, really. Uh, there may be members. Uh, but, you know, all income that comes in is, you know, reinvested into the, the, the mission of the foundation. Um, you know, I think foundations, um, you know, have a little bit more free roam to do, to do things that are not, you know, immediately profitable or that, you know, may never even be profitable uh, to explore a little more. Uh, for example, Ethereum. The Ethereum is backed by a foundation, a Swiss foundation. The uh, SLP uh, foundation exists uh, to promote the use of uh, simple ledger protocol tokens on uh, Bitcoin Cash. Um, you know, of course, there was the uh, Bitcoin, I guess it was foundation or association, I forget, you know, which was, of course, a complete uh, mess. Um, and yeah, I think people in Bitcoin Cash tend to have a knee-jerk reaction against foundations. Um, but, you know, I think the SLP Foundation could be a good example of one. Um, and then there's DAOs, which are uh, a bit unexplored, you know. I'm not, I'm not sure, you know, I think that, uh, for example, it could be possible to form a DAO with the purpose of, uh, similar to a foundation, right? Um, you know, I, I'm, I'm, that, that path is a little bit, you know, still to be explored. Uh, you know, the most famous uh, DAO was called The DAO on Ethereum, where everybody put their uh, money in, like $50 million or something of ETH, into this smart contract that would be used to invest into new projects, right? This is the basic, I think the basic paradigm of a DAO. You uh, create a pot of money, and uh and then you give it out right of course you know there's also uh, the governance aspect right that you know whoever holds the dow tokens uh can you know vote on governance proposals right and by that i mean proposals that would change like how the uh money is dispensed or um you know different policies for the dow or you know to change uh, you know, with the, the team that the, that maintains the DAO code base, uh, things like that. 
So Dow versus corporation uh, versus foundation. What do you think is the optimum entity uh, type for Bitcoin Cash projects? And of course, some people say no entity, right? But, you know, as I said before, like that, you know, I, there, I think there have been a lot of projects like that, you know, that are at that informal level in Bitcoin Cash and they don't seem to really go anywhere. Uh, you know, we need to take things up a level as an ecosystem and we need to move beyond the um, the uh, <clears throat> the hobbyist stage, you know, the, the hobby hobbyist stage, the tinkering stage. I mean, that's always going to be there. That's always important. But we need to have a, a, a level on top of that that becomes uh, a business ecosystem, right? That, sh that, 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 you know, evidences to people that... Um, uh, you know, you can uh, make money uh, building on Bitcoin Cash. And that has a whole bunch of other follow-on benefits, I think. So, yeah. So what do you think? Let me know in the comments and let's keep building Bitcoin Cash.